Driving your Audi should be as enjoyable as possible, and the standard cruise and adaptive cruise control features help avoid leg fatigue while driving long distances and also provide the convenience of automatically monitoring the distance between your vehicle and vehicles ahead. Using the cruise control is easy and intuitive and offers many features that can make driving more enjoyable. The cruise control stalk is ergonomically located at your fingertips on the left side of the steering wheel. First, we'll demonstrate the standard cruise functions. The default position is off with the stalk pushed fully away from you. To engage the cruise control function, pull the stalk towards you to the first detent position. The cruise control system can regulate speeds between 15 and 90 miles per hour, while adaptive cruise begins at 20 miles per hour. However, if you press the set button at speeds less than the minimum setting, the vehicle will accelerate automatically up to the minimum speed. So be careful when pressing the set button in slow moving traffic. To set your cruise control, drive at the desired speed and press the set button on the end of the stalk. To cancel the set speed, you can either tap the brake lightly or gently push the stalk away from you, but not to the off position. The stalk will return to the on position, but the cruise function will be canceled. To resume your set speed, pull the stalk towards you once and release. Once your speed is set, you can increase or decrease your speed in one mile per hour increments by simply tapping the stalk up or down briefly. You may also push the stalk up or down to the second detent to increase or decrease your speed in five mile per hour increments, or hold it in the farthest position for continuous acceleration or deceleration. If you have the optional adaptive cruise control system, it will automatically maintain a set distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. When you turn the system on, the adaptive cruise standby icon will appear in the instrument cluster. Once you have a speed selected, you can set a variable distance maintained from the vehicle in front of you based on your current speed. Adjusting the distance switch on the front of the stalk regulates the distance. There are five preset distance settings, with one being the closest setting and five being the farthest. The distance is relative and will increase or decrease based on your speed. Each time you turn on the ignition, the system defaults to distance three. When a slower moving vehicle is encountered in front of you, the adaptive cruise control system automatically slows down to match that vehicle speed and then maintains the distance that you have set. When the vehicle ahead is no longer present, the adaptive cruise control will accelerate back to your stored speed. You can adjust the distance setting while driving to accommodate changes in overall traffic, speed, and your comfort level. In stop and go traffic, if a vehicle ahead stops, your vehicle will brake automatically and stay at a stop within the limits of the system, provided you are not actively using the accelerator. As long as the message ACC Automatic Go appears in the display, when the vehicle ahead begins moving, your vehicle will move forward, provided your foot is not on the brake and your vehicle has not been stationary for approximately three seconds. To activate Automatic Go, pull the lever towards you and release. You should be aware that the system may not detect objects such as motorcycles, vehicles with high ground clearance, or an overhanging load, so it's important to always be aware of the traffic in front of you. Adaptive Cruise Control is an advanced feature with a certain degree of complexity. We recommend reading your owner's manual to take full advantage of its capabilities. Utilizing the Cruise Control on your Audi can make your driving experience more pleasant. Understanding how the feature works will help you get the most from your vehicle.